to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make brownie cookies and these are amazing. These are like probably the best chocolate cookie I've ever had or brownie cookie. It's the texture of a brownie and a cookie so it's chewy, it's chocolatey, it's amazing. Um, and I've made this before using almond butter and I've made it with cashew butter. In this recipe I'm using cashew butter because I kind of prefer it with cashew butter. So technically this recipe is um, oil free. It's got the nut butter in there but it's kind of refined oil free so it doesn't use like vegan butter or olive oil or any other coconut oil or anything like that. It's just literally the nut. And what I do is I make my own nut butter because I find that when you make your own nut butter, it's kind of cheaper. Well, it is cheaper. So I go to this place in Brunswick and I buy um, from the Royal Nut Company these um, broken up cashews and they're the raw ones. So get the raw ones, not the salted ones, unless you want like a salted butter. But for this recipe, you just want them raw. And you just put it in the food processor for about eight to 10 minutes. So it takes a long time, but it eventually turns into the butter after all the oils released and you've got like your butter, so your nut butter. Having like a huge bag of cashews is so crucial, I feel, because you can make your cheeses with it, like your vegan parmesan cheese, or you can, and vegan parmesan cheese is literally just a cup of um, cashews mixed in with um, some nutritional yeast, some garlic, and salt, just in a blender until it's like crumbly, and then you can put all over your pasta and it's delicious, or you can make like actual cheese using this. You just, I have, I've never made it before, but there's heaps of recipes online. But anyway, I'm rambling. So, if you want to know how to make these chocolate brownie cookies, then please keep watching. So, these are all the ingredients you're going to need to make the cookies. I'm going to leave all of the measurements in the description below, so you can check those out there. And I've got raw cashews here that I'm going to make my nut butter with, but if you've just bought the nut butter, your cashew butter, in the jar, then you can just go ahead and use that. You don't need to go through the long process of making it yourself. You've also probably spotted that there's a can of chickpeas there. And no, they weren't just mistakenly placed there. You will need the can of chickpeas. You won't be needing the chickpeas though. Discard the chickpeas and use the juice. And the juice is known as aquafaba. If you haven't heard of it before, it's very high in protein and it's sort of the egg replacer. So you need to make sure that you're using chickpeas that don't have any added salt in them because if they've got salt in them, then the cookies will be really salty and they won't taste nice at all. So just, yep, yeah, make sure you look out for that. So if you're making your own nut butter, add the raw cashews to the food processor. Um, that's one cup of cashews and blend until um, it's kind of a fine crumb and then scrape down the sides and you'll be blending for about eight to 10 minutes. So be patient, it will turn into nut butter. So it'll turn into something like this. And then in a separate bowl, add the two thirds of a cup of cacao powder with the one cup of coconut sugar. Then add one teaspoon of baking soda and using a fork, um, kind of mash down the coconut sugar and the um, cacao powder because there's lots of lumps in it and you want to make sure that it's all evenly distributed. Then in another bowl, you're going to add the one cup of nut butter with the half a cup of aquafaba, so the chickpea juice, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract and then mash that all together until you've gotten rid of all the lumps and it becomes kind of smooth like consistency. It looks sort of like a paste like this. And then after you've done that, add the um, dry ingredients, so the cacao powder and the coconut sugar and the baking soda. Mix that all together until you've got a nice thick chocolatey batter that's good enough to eat by itself, which I ate a bit of. I'm um, not gonna lie. And then you add half a cup of choc chips and mix that all together. And then that's pretty much it. You're going to start lining a baking tray with baking paper and then um, put probably like a tablespoon worth of um, the cookie dough onto the tray and make sure you spread them um, quite far apart because they do spread. And then bake that in the oven and once they're ready they're going to have cracked and you need to leave them on the tray for about five minutes before you transfer them to um, a cooling rack um, because they're quite soft so yeah that's it 
it, that's how you make them. It's pretty simple and they're so delicious. They're literally like the best cookies I think I've ever had in my life. They're kind of like Subway cookies, um, if you've ever had them. Um, or like Mrs. Fields, that used to be my favorite place to go when I was younger. I used to always look forward to getting like a Mrs. Fields chewy chocolate chip cookie. Um, so they're kind of like that. So yeah, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, thanks for watching, bye. Thank you.